Hi everybody, so today I'm here with my good friend Dodie. Hello. If you recall last time, she showed me some of her favorite old kid shows in England. <laughs> this was the pinnacle of my childhood! And they were quite weird. So right? I decided to now send it back to her and I'm gonna show her some of my favorite shows that I used to watch as a kid. Let's go. I hope you don't think they're as weird as yours. Definitely will be. To me? To you. To me, to you. Ah. For some reason, American shows go to England, but a lot of British shows don't go to America. So you, got, you might know a lot of these and hopefully you don't know some of them, especially some that I've got saved. So let's let's get into it. These are I know there's so many shows, so I couldn't really cover them all, but these are just some of my favorites. Have you ever seen the big comfy couch? Never. What does it sound like? What takes place in the big comfy couch? A family? Sounds like The Simpsons. Alright, I mean that makes sense actually. Oh, this seems oddly nostalgic, but I don't think I've ever seen it. What's happening? Couch. It does look very comfy. <laughs> Doodle doo! Doodle doodle Branding. Good for branding. Yeah, so I watch it. Everyone has big red noses. Oh. They're all clowns, basically. This is probably the most British style American. I wanted to start with that. Uh, it's got puppets. You're easing me in. And you guys have. Yeah, I'm easing you in. So the next one as well Lamb Chop? No. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on. <laughs> My hey friend. This is the song that doesn't People used to sing this at school, but I didn't know it was from this. Also, that is one dodgy looking lamb. <laughs> it's like hunger kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, that thing is you. Stop, stop, stop. Johnny, stop. I want you to go away. Aww. Teaching good parent values there. If your mom yells at you, it's okay. Grab your mouth. <laughs> Shut up. In my video where you show me stuff, I was like, have you ever seen Zoom? And you didn't know what that was. No, I still have. Zoom is one of my all-time favorites. It was real-life kids, and you get to hang out together, and you get to, like, like the Blue Peter, you applied to be on it. Okay. And you got to, like, make crafts and do oh. fun stuff, and there's Ubby Dubby, which is its own language, and and um, here we go. You can tell it's from the 90s. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the haircuts. I'm Jared. Sorry. Kiko. <laughs> the internet. The World Wide Web? What's that? Oh my god. It's trying to encourage people to go out and do stuff as opposed to just watching kids do it on TV. Abby Dubby is a language where you replace all the vowels with Abby. Okay. And I could speak it fluently as a Zubby. child. Yes. Hawaii province. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Say something to me. I will love cool pubble zubble pizza. I like pizza. Pubble zubble. Pubble zubble. Ibble z. <laughs> okay, so I lost this ability. As, um, Zabumafu recently passed away. Very oh. sad. Oh, what's that? It's Zabumafu. Oh. I should have told you that after you loved him. Oh, wait, that's not real. It teaches kids about wildlife and that you should like wildlife. Wow! Well, you like it? Yeah, I like something. You like it? So, in America, we are brought up with a lot of indoctrinated patriotism. So, there were many shows themed about being American and how that's awesome. I'm going to blow your mind with Liberty's Kids. That's right. Show about liberty. <laughs> Really? Oh my god. These three kids helped the revolution against England. There's Ben Franklin. Founding father. It was explaining the history of the American Revolutionary War through the eyes of kids that helped Ben Franklin. Right. Pretty simple. Okay. It was good. It taught me history. Okay, Veggie Tales. If you've seen Veggie Tales, it's it's really hard to explain. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. It's the part so of the annoying. show where Larry comes out and sings a He's silly born. song. Mad. It's singing and talking vegetables. Is that gangster potato? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Veggie Tales actually was mostly used to teach Christian biblical stuff. Oh. So there's like Jonah and the Whale, where oh. Jonah is a celery stick. Okay. And um, that's not bad. Well. Oh, because... you watched Jackie Are Chan Adventures? Kidding? I know the bloody theme tune of my heart. Come oh on, my god, go, okay. Humo Gwe Gwe Fighty Sao. Oh my Humo... god! Look, ready? Really? <laughs> <laughs> One more thing! One, One more thing. thing! Goosebumps. Yeah! Really used to watch Goosebumps? Oh. 
This intro used to give me nightmares. Like, literally. I used to have nightmares every night because of just the intro. Okay. That's how scary the intro is. I used to read the books. Yeah, they're based on the books. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And Wait, pause it. Oh. I used to be so scared of the dog with the eyes and the intro of Goosebumps that oh. my, my dad used to tape it for me and I used to tell him to fast forward to that part and I'd close my eyes. And at one point he paused it in the middle and he went, it's over now. There I was. My nightmares. This dog. <laughs> Scary. Each of these sh like episodes was actually really scary. Really? Yeah, I think it might it might be Canadian. Are you ready for this? Oh, I used to know. Yeah, yeah Mrs. I know Frizzle. This. Yeah. With the frizz? No way. Is it down on Main Street? You're relaxed and feeling good. It taught you like science mostly. It's like the science educational kid show, and I loved it. They'd shrink and go into someone's body, and they'd learn about the anatomy of the body and stuff. That's cool. That this is yeah, that was one of my favorites. I liked the shows we got to Did learn. Did you see Mr. Rogers? Nope. Mr. Rogers was a big deal. He recently passed as well, which is very sad. Isn't that the guy in the? This is the ultimate showdown. Yes, he's yeah. the one that won the ultimate showdown. Because he's the most peaceful, loving man you can that it can ever exist. It's called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Oh. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Oh, I want to give him a hug. Would you be my neighbor? It's <laughs> That's me. He's so precious. I think I'm in love. My neighbor. I love him. Mm. I want to be his neighbor. He seems so gentle. It was, yes. Like. Speaking of gentle people, you've seen Bob Ross? Yeah. The, the Joy of Painting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was, um, uh, mm. Here we go. Are you oh, so like a Is that the girl from High School yeah, Musical? Yeah, yes, it's Ashley Tisdale. What? How did I you just made that connection. Mr. Mosby is a Mr. Mosby. legend. This is the most American show. I can think of. I've never seen Every American this. will just start singing it if you play it anywhere you go. It's true. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at all the science. Boo, boo. Yeah, never heard of this. <laughs> That's like you. <laughs> That's like you and your Hundreds graphics video. <laughs> oh, these graphics blow my mind. Yeah, <laughs> the science blows my mind. He just was such a big thing as a kid and then he disappeared for a bit. And now he's on the news sometimes as the science guy. He's literally Bill Nye the science guy. He's, you'll see him in Tumblr gifts saying things about global warming. Yeah, I've heard his name, but I've never ever seen oh. him. You've seen Captain Planet? No. <laughs> Sounds like Captain it, Scott. This is also a very American. The, it was made so that we could um, teach our kids to stop trashing the environment. <laughs> Um, I used to want to be a planeteer. It's sad to see, like, the message behind the earth. So lame. Power of Earth. He was the most annoyingly American guy. He was always like, I just care about myself. This is so lame. <laughs> I used to love this. I'd wake up at 6 in the morning to watch Captain Planet. But the power is yours. Even though you summoned Captain Planet, you have the power. There's so many. I used to watch all of, like, Disney <clears> Channel <throat> stuff, like Zack and Cody. That's Kim so Possible. Raven. Oh, my God. Nickelodeon Guts was a show that I wanted to be on as a kid. It's this giant rock that shoots stuff at you. And wow. I want to go. You've seen Legend of the Hidden Temple? Uh, I don't know. Oh. You had to go on the show and compete with three other people in this maze. Oh, that sounds fun. And there's people that would jump out of doors and grab you, and if you got grabbed three times, you're out. And you can see them. They have to, like, climb oh, without love, touching. I want to do this. This looks like fun. Where's the giant head? Oh, I love the music. There's the head. Dexter's I'm, Laboratory. I need no Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, Spongebob, Ar Arthur? Yeah. Everyone loves everyone Arthur. Everyone loves Arthur. I was in my jam. Gullah Gullah Island. Um, Gula, Gula, Gula. was such a weird show that I can't remember if anyone I know has ever remembered this show. But Gullah Gullah Island is... <laughs> Freaking weird. Is this racist? No. What? Where's Benya Benya? Oh, there he is. What the heck is okay. it? That was someone with what? post traumatic stress disorder. Dead oh. animal. Post traumatic stress disorder. Is what? this real? Oh, it's not the real one. It's been edited with <laughs> Okay, so someone on the internet replaced the actual Gala Gala theme song images with disturbing images, so you can't find the real one. Little Bill. Here we go. Everyone loved this show. Oh, I, I recognize this. Yeah, I used to watch this! Do you know who the main character is? Whoa, no! Who's that guy? I don't know. 
Who is this? It's Bill Cosby. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I thought so. It's a little kid show. Yeah. Basically with Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah. Ben Ta- oh Kids Next Door. No. Kids Next Door is a show about kids that help protect the world from evil adults. And once you turn 13, you slowly become an adult. <gasps> I do remember this. Yeah, yeah. What a great chord. Yeah, yeah right? That's a pretty chord. I feel like you're going to know this one. <gasps> Wait. Rubber Goose, Green Moose, Papa G.I. Joe, an American Hero. It was a great show. Wow, this is old. Oh my god, that's so American. Wow, that looks like a baddie. Fight for America. Chalk Zone. Imagine if you had a magic piece of chalk where if you draw on a chalkboard, you're able to enter the chalk zone. So it's like a fun for the and, giant Yes, it is. And anything you draw with the chalk becomes real. Rudy's got the chalk. Another thing, we have had science, we've had history, we've had American patriotism, and now we want to teach kids the love of reading, which I think Aww. is really good. Sing it! Take a look! Wait, it's, it's, in a it's in a book. book. Wait! He hmm. was in something. He was in community. He's also in something else. Oh, he's from Star Trek! Oh my god, it's Jordy! It's Jordy from Star Trek! Yeah! He's also it's reading Jordy Rainbow! From Star Trek. <laughs> Because he always wears a visor. That's so cool. Yeah. What did you think of American shows versus British shows? I like some of them. Some of them. There's a lot of educational shows that I used to watch. Maybe because my mom maybe watched PBS a lot. So I loved Bill Nye the Science Guy, Reading Rainbow. That's cool. I liked Liberty's Kids. You know, I just liked learning about history and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know I left out some TV shows. So if I left out some of your favorites, please tell me below. Uh, and tell me now that you've seen both videos, hopefully, which ones you guys think are the better or not. Also, check out Dodie's channel. She's a beautiful musician. Lives with me. She's pretty cool. So please be sure to subscribe to her and uh, like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye. <laughs> Berenstein Bears? Not clear. Berenstein Bears, I was risen with. Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears. Berenstein Bears.